So our Tanamera product basically consists of a whole range of head to toe personal care products. A lot of people sometimes think that we do cosmetics, but we don't. We don't actually do anything that has to do with colors. But what we do is we give a, a very, we create a very high quality, natural personal care product that cover from head to toe. And I think what makes Tanamera product different than what's available in the market is that because we focus on the element of safety. So the product has to be natural. Uh, every single ingredient has to be from plant based. We don't do any animal testing. The tenet of Tanamera is always about uh, human friendly, earth friendly and animal friendly. So we make sure that it covers all three elements before we can actually roll out any products. So that is uh, I would say the value proposition of uh, Tanamera products. I think because it's, it's also an early on realization that so many dangerous chemicals are out there and we are putting it all over our body. As you can see, I mean the, the number of people who have cancer have grown steadily. When I was growing up, you know, it's rare to hear somebody have cancer. Now, almost every day you know or you heard of somebody you know is developing cancer. And we believe that this is mainly because of the type of product and the thing that we eat. And what we believe that Tanamera will be able to help uh, with, I wouldn't say it's anti-cancer, of course it's not, but I think it lessens the chances of exposure to dangerous chemicals, you know, well, we do not use any petroleum ingredient ingredient, we do not use any uh, parabens, we do not use any chemical preservative, no colouring, no perfume. So I would say, I mean, that's why we created the Tanamera. And also, of course, uh, we want to export the whole idea of the Malay beauty treatment. That was one of the things that, that started Tanamera, and even the name they say is Red Earth Tanamera. Well, uh, we are doing things as what we know day by day. We are not like a big corporation, so we don't have this long, lengthy 10 year plan or anything like that. But I think what we are going to do is that we're going to focus a lot more on our existing retail partners. Uh, which is uh, now is growing in Russia, in Germany uh, and we're going to do as much as we can to support them. But we're also going to try to expand a lot more in new markets like the Middle East and also uh, maybe even Africa because we think there is a huge potential over there. And uh, we are also looking at the potential on how we can actually start expanding into our Personal, I mean, to our spa services, but that's still in the early stage of this uh, planning.